Hi, Tim here with Clive Coffee. We're going to talk about your Luca A53, A53 Mini models, and we're going to have a discussion about the basic touchpad features. Once you've followed the brew guides and you've got your espresso grinder dialed in and you're pulling shots that are following our recommended recipe, you might want to investigate how temperature affects the brewing of your coffee. With your Luca A53 or A53 Mini, you have control over that temperature setting. We're going to show you how to access the temperature programming on your Luca A53 and A53 Mini. Before you dive into experimentation with temperature and how that affects your coffee, you're going to want to check out our dial-in videos and our brew guides so that your shots are pulling within the appropriate parameters. You'll find links to those videos at the end of this video and in the description below. To enter your programming mode, your machine needs to be on, so you'll see your temperature lights, you'll see a solid lit power button. So we're gonna go ahead and press and hold the power button for three to five seconds until we see the number light and the main power light flashing. Now that we are in our programming mode, we can go ahead and program our temperature settings. You know that you are in programming mode, again, when you see that main power light flashing and your number light flashing. This indicates where our current temperature is set. When you're in programming mode, it's flashing the temperature setting that it's set for currently, pressing this top boiler button, or your hot water tap button, will increase that temperature by one number, and it will continue to go up until its highest setting, and if you press it once more, it will cycle back down to the lowest setting. So we had it set at 93. I'm gonna go ahead and bump it up to 94. If this is the setting that I've chosen, I can go ahead and press my power button once, just once, and it will exit our programming mode and it's going to heat up to that 94 setting. When you're in the programming mode, you do have access to other programming features such as your volumetrics. So if you accidentally press your volumetric button when you're in that programming mode, you will overwrite that setting. Check out our other videos on programming your volumetrics to learn how to reset those and get those back to a setting that's appropriate. One other additional programming feature we're going to show you that you have access to on your A53 Direct Plum model is pre-infusion. And again, experimenting with pre-infusion is something that you should get into once you've covered some of the basics about brewing espresso. We're going to show you how to enter your programming mode and then enter your pre-infusion programming and how to set that. Again, it's similar to your other programming features. You press and you hold that power button until you see the 95 or on newer machines, it might be a 93. That number light will flash as well as your main power light. And then to enter the programming features for pre-infusion, again, this is only on the direct plumb model. You press and you hold this B button, the boiler button, until you see this, these number lights will be lit if you have a setting already in there, or they will be um, completely blank if you have your pre-infusion turned off. Each of these, these number steps, all the way up to your eco light, indicates one second of pre-infusion. And so we will 
cycle up to our maximum, and that's, in, again, in seconds, eight seconds of pre-infusion. And if I press that button, that B button one more time, cycles back down to turn pre-infusion off. We're gonna set it to about three seconds of pre-infusion. Pressing that power button once will save that pre-infusion setting and we'll turn the machine back to normal function. When using pre-infusion, you're going to hear a delayed um, sound of the pump. So we can try that out if we press our, one of our brew buttons. We're going to hear water engaging, so the solenoid will open. We're actually gonna see some water dripping because we have no coffee in the puck here. And then we're gonna hear the pump. We've set it for a three second delay. If you have coffee in that portafilter, the coffee will absorb that dripping of water and you won't see any dripping coming through until that pump engages and puts pressure on that puck of coffee. So we'll give it a try and listen for that three second delay before the pump kicks in. I'll step through this just once more so you see, and we'll turn off pre-infusion and hear the difference. So press and hold. And now we're in programming mode, power light and number light are flashing press and hold the B boiler button. And now I've got solid lights here from my previous three seconds of pre-infusion. I'm gonna cycle through using the... And now I've turned my pre-infusion off. Pressing the main power button once more will save that setting. And when I go to brew, the pump will immediately engage. Pre-infusion is a feature that you might start to experiment with once you have the basics down. On your Luca A53 Mini, you have the option to install a pre-infusion chamber that will automatically engage a pre-infusion phase with every shot and you would only be able to disable that if you took that pre-infusion chamber off. Once it's on there, it's only going to help improve consistency, so there's really no reason to ever remove that. You can continue to pull excellent shots with that pre-infusion chamber on board. This was an overview of the touchpad and basic temperature programming function on your Luca A53 and A53 Mini. For more information on using your machine, check out the links here. For other tech tips, visit our knowledge base at clivecoffee.com.